Hi guys, this is Just. I just wanted to let you guys know really quick that I came down with a bad case of strep and so I wasn't able to come in mid-month and give you guys those readings. But I'm coming in now because I'm feeling a little bit better and I want to give you a weekly from the 9th to the 15th. And so I'm using my own spread and therefore I won't be showing the cards, but I hope you guys like them and I hope they still resonate for you for the week. Um, now, on to your reading. Hi Aquarius, this is Jess with your 2015 weekly reading for the 9th to the 15th. I hope everyone had a really good week. Let's get into your reading. I see that for some of you, some of you are dealing with family issues. I feel that some of you have been kind of dealing with an issue that's been just annoying uh, for quite some time now. It could have been going on since September of last year, okay? And it's been on your mind. It's something that you've been frustrated about. And I feel like for some of you, you're starting to get over it. You're letting it go. For others of you, it's gotten even worse, okay? The, the stressing has gotten worse. I feel like this is something that you're doing internally with yourself. You're not talking to people about it. You're not sharing this with people. But it is just something that's really bothering you guys, okay? Um, know that that is going to come to an end. It has to. It has to come to an end, okay? I feel like on a social level, you guys are getting invitations to go out. Um, just, you know, real simple invitations. Hey, you want to go grab a bite to eat? You want to go see the game? That type of thing. And you guys are actually going out and you're being social. So as far as, and I'm not sure if I said this to you guys last, I said this last month to another sign, I believe, that um, outwardly you are fun and happy and social with your friends. But internally, you have, you're stressing. You're stressing. Okay? You're stressing. Um, I feel like, for some of you, and this is going to be very specific, some of you are dealing with an issue with your children's mother. I feel like she's in some type of financial need. She needs some help from you guys. And this is authentic help. Like, she really genuinely needs help. You guys know that. And therefore, you are, you're able to help her and you're going to help her. But because of that, you're going to find yourself having to reprioritize your monies. Because here's the thing. You guys were thinking, okay, you know, I'm going to start something new. You were getting ready to make all these plans to start something new. Or you had been making plans to start something new. And something comes out of nowhere. Like there's going to be, I feel like there's going to be this, there's going to be some, a woman that comes out of nowhere and says, well, she's not coming out of nowhere. You guys know her, but uh, the message to you is going to come out of nowhere. of like, I need, da, 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 can you, blah, blah, blah. That's going to put a halt on moving forward in this new thing that you want to do, okay? Um, it's going to slow that down. And I feel like that's going to create some tension in the home. Um, it could be your wife that's saying that, hey, you know, we owe such and such and such, or I have to do dot, dot, dot. And you were planning on doing something totally different, or you guys were planning on doing something, and that changes the direction of things because now monies have to go to a particular situation. Okay, so look forward to that because that will be happening for some of you out there. Others of you, um, Aquarius women, this could be you, this could be your mother, it could be someone in your life that is in need of financial assistance or you're in need of financial assistance and probably will be reaching out um, to husband, um, ex-husband, uh, your children's dad someone that is of a family dynamic in your life you will be reaching out to um, or it will be your own mom or a woman that is a mother that is having some type of financial difficulties you guys will have to assist and aid her and again because of that there will be some you know remanaging of your finances reprioritizing and I feel like this situation could be stressing you guys out to an extent, I feel like you're not full on stressed, you're not full on pissed because you know they need it. So you're like, damn, I really don't, you know, but hey, I have to do it, I have to deal with the situation, whatever. I feel like it's not going to last, obviously it's not going to last forever, 
but I feel like um, the stress of it all is something that's going, it's coming to an end, the stress of all of it, okay? Um, that's what I have for you guys. I want to look and see if there's anything else. For love, uh, in a r romantic sense for you guys, I see that some of you guys could be dealing in a triangle of sorts. Um, I feel like some of you are entertaining um, someone going on dates and kind of being social and engaging on that level while having some kind of upsets and problems at home. Some of you um, are trying to basically juggle two, two, two family lifestyles and you've been stressing yourself over it and I feel like you're now starting to say, well, you know what, I'm not going to overstress myself over it, it is what it is, because you know that you can't just up and leave your, you know, wife, uh, ex-wife, or the mother of your children, the person that you've been living with and had this family dynamic for all this time, you can't just up and leave them, because financially there are obligations, and you are making sure that you're financially um, providing for them. But you are going to continue to try to juggle these two relationships. And I, I just want to let you guys know that there will be um, a sudden change. Okay? So I, if you're thinking that you just have this new beginning with this new person and you're trying to get away from the drama with allowing it to just be what it is, I'm going to do my duty as, you know, as a husband, as a father, as the man in the house. Um, and I'm going to continue to entertain myself with someone that I kind of really want to be with over this way. And I'm going to try to juggle the two know that there will be a sudden change in that for you guys. So that is what I have for you guys. And uh, financially, again, same thing applies. I feel like I've already mentioned before about the, the money aspect of what you guys are going through. If it's not a relationship, if you're not giving money to a person, then it could possibly be you guys taking on this energy of not necessarily feeling abundant because there's money that you have to pay out or there's money that you're waiting for people to br to um, return to you, and as a result, you are having to prioritize and manage your money. So that is what I see for you guys for the this week, and I will be back next week to see what's going on with you guys. I hope you're having a